Hello and welcome back. It has been six months since I have posted a video to this channel, but I am back. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an awesome professional logo for your brand using ChatGPT. Now it's important to note that this will need ChatGPT4 and the additional GPTs that are available within ChatGPT, which means you're going to need to have the plus plan. Now that will cost you $20. So make sure you are aware of that before watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a logo for three different types of brands. So we're going to get started straight away. And what we're going to do is click on the explore GPTs button and we're going to type in logo. Then you're going to want to use the logo creator GPT just here. And as you can see, it says use me to generate professional logo designs and app icons. So let's click onto that. And here we go. So we now have the logo creator GPT open, and that means we are ready to create a logo using chat GPT. So the first brand I'm going to create a logo for will be a tea, coffee, cafe sort of business. So we're going to type in, what will the name of the business be? Let's have a think. What I'm going to do first of all is say, create a logo for my cafe. And then we will call it Craig's Coffee. So we have the brand name. Then we also have what the business actually is. So it will have some relevant information. It will be able to create the right style of logo for us. I want the logo to be simplistic, authentic and stand out on signs. So what I'm trying to do here is add specific information to make the logo how we want it to be. Now you can do this for your logo. You can add specific colors that you want it to use. You can add ideas for the type of design. You can add ideas and use words that will convey the type of logo that you want ChatGPT to create. So I think for now, we're gonna keep this quite simple. Or alternatively, you can let the logo creator run wild and you could just tell it the name of your brand and your type of business. Or you could even just give it the name of your brand, but I'd rather give it a bit more information so that it knows what it is the logo will be for. But you don't need to give it loads of information. You can just give it the name of your brand and your brand industry or you could give it as much information as you want so that you get a really specific logo design. For now, for this first example, we've just put create a logo for my cafe, Craig's Coffee. I want the logo to be simplistic, authentic, and stand out on signs. Now, instead of signs, I'll put signage, just to make it a bit more specific. This will be outdoor signage on the outside of the cafe and things like that, so when people walk past, the logo will stand out. So then all we need to do is hit enter. And as you can see, chat GPT no longer only generates text, it can now also generate images. Now it's asked me a question, would we like the logo to be vibrant, neutral, serious, or skip all four questions and generate a logo using the default options immediately? Now, I think in this example, we'll go through the four questions. So we'll start by typing B, and go for neutral. Then for the second question, let's see what it says. Okay, so on a scale of one to 10, how would you like the logo to be in terms of simplicity and complexity? One being extremely clean and simple, 10 being extremely detailed and complex. The default is three. I think three sounds good for the type of logo I'm creating. So let's stick with the default being three. And let's see what the third question is going to be. Okay, so this will be the color palette. Now we can either go for warm brown and cream, black and white, dark green and beige, or a custom palette, or you can't choose, let it decide for you. I think I'm going to go for warm brown and cream. So let's type in A. And then we just have the fourth and final question left. 
Okay, so this is fantastic. We can either have it generate one single logo design or nine different logo designs at once. Now I'm greedy and I wanna see what it can do. I wanna put it to the test. So I'm going to go with B so that it generates nine different logo design options for our brand all at once. So let's hit enter right now. And let's see what it creates. I'm really interested to see what it makes here. Okay, so here we have our nine different logo designs. Let's click onto this. To be honest, they all look really good. Sometimes with ChatGPT, it can get the text slightly wrong. So the first one looks perfect to me. The second one here just says coffee, coffee. So that doesn't really make sense, but you could take this and bring it into something like Canva or Photoshop to customize the text. Then we have Craig's coffee. That one looks okay. This one looks decent. I think that looks a bit more like something you'd see on the high street. I really like this last one here. To be honest, I think the first and the last one are my favorites. I like this one here as well, but of course the wording is wrong. So there we go. That looks absolutely fantastic. Now let's have a look. What do you think? Are you satisfied? Please can you make the last one full size. Now sometimes it isn't actually able to do this. So this is going to be interesting to see what it does. But we'll give it a chance. Now I wouldn't use this for creating the final logo that you're going to use for your business, but I would use it for creating mockups, generating ideas. Okay, so this is interesting. It hasn't exactly taken that style. So like I said, it's not really worked, but it has created a logo. Now what you would have to do, like I said, this is best for mockups, or if you're someone that creates different website projects, and the logo isn't, I'm not going to say not important, but it's not something you want to mess around with loads. Or if you're just creating a prototype website and you need a placeholder logo, this would be absolutely fantastic. Okay, so there we go. We have used ChatGPT to create a logo for our cafe. Now what we're going to do is go back to the logo creator and we're going to give it a bit more freedom this time. And what we're going to do now is create a logo for a wealth management brand. And I've come up with the name Global Wealth Management. So we're going to have generate a logo for my financial business. Global Wealth Management. So here we go. All we've given it is the type of business, a financial business, and the name of the business, Global Wealth Management. And then I've added, you can create what you think will be best. So I've given it free reign to create and design whatever it thinks will be best. So let's see what this manages to do. So here we go, it's gonna ask us a few questions again, but like I said, we're going to go for D because we're gonna skip the questions and let it create what it wants. So this would just use the default options. So let's see what this creates. Now what I'm going to do is create one single logo rather than nine this time. And let's see what it does. Okay, that's not too bad, but I do want to use the brand name in the logo. There we go. Let's see what it does this time. Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I'm guessing this is because we chose default, which was vibrant colors. Now I'm gonna say, please create a simple logo using only three colors. 
that are common for this type of brand. Okay, so this will probably not be so colorful this time. As we've said, three colors that are common for this type of brand. Now for a wealth management business, you're not always gonna have a colorful logo. Now, of course, we did let it use the default option, which was vibrant colors. So I do understand why it's done that. I think this is better, but I'm just going to say I don't like it. And now what it will do is create something different for me. No, it won't. It's actually asked me for more information. Use the brand name and everything else is up to you. Let's see what it does this time. This is the last option I'm going to do for this logo. We're not going to redo this one again. So let's just see what it creates. Okay, that's cool. I like this. Now, we will need to edit the text slightly because there's a random icon there, but that would be quite easy within Canva. Actually, they've spelled management wrong, so we'll need to change that. But you can easily do this. Simply click the download button at the top right. Then you can upload the logo to Photoshop or Canva and make any changes that you want to make. Now, before I end this video, I'm gonna create one more logo using the logo creator and we're going to create a media brand called creative catalyst and we want to create a logo for this brand so i've just said create a logo for my brand creative catalyst the business creates content and graphics for other companies i want the logo to be bright simplistic and professional now once again we have to go through this process now i although i've said i want it to be bright i'm not going to go for vibrant this time because we have already used that in the previous example. So I'm going to go for serious. So I'm going to type in C as that is the option for serious. And then we have the logo complexity, one being clean and simple and 10 being very complex. What I'm going to do actually is say eight because we haven't created a complex logo yet. I know I said I want a simplistic logo, but I do want to show you the different capabilities of this logo creator. So we'll create a complex logo and then afterwards we'll ask it to recreate the logo more simplistic. Okay, so let's see what's next. Higher level of detail and then we have colors, blue and green, red and gold, black and white, or we could add our own custom color palette. I'm going to go for blue and green. In fact, I'm going to go red and gold. I think that'll look quite cool. And finally, do we want lo one single logo design or nine? I'm going to go with B just because nine complex logos is going to be quite interesting. So let's see what it manages this time. And then you will know how to create a logo using ChatGPT. Okay, so the text has been the same in all of these. It has simply changed the icon, which I'm not really a big fan of, to be honest. I've changed my mind. Please make the logo very simplistic. Okay, so let's see what it does now. And I'm going to say one. I want it to be as simplistic as it can possibly be. Okay, so we have a very simplistic logo created here. Now I would ask it to add the text, but I've actually come up to the limit of how often you can use ChatGPT4. So I will need to wait about 20 minutes before I can use it again. But I think you get the idea of how you can create a logo using ChatGPT. So there we go. Once again, just to remind you, you can download the logos you've created and you can edit them in Canva or Photoshop or any other application that you want to use. You can either hover over the image and click the download button here, or you can click onto it and then click download at the top right. So there you go. We have created some cool logos using chat GPT. That is all for this video. Please leave a like, leave a comment with any other video ideas.
that you have for me to create and subscribe to my channel as well. There we go. That's all. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks and goodbye.